Hi, I'm Kimberly Allison from Starlander Music. Welcome to my channel. Today I'll continue with my series entitled Blue Solos with Comping. First I'll perform Blue Solo with Comping in the key of E number 10, and then I'll break it down for you. Here we go. I hope you enjoy it. Alright, here we go. Blue solo with comping in the key of E number 10. In these exercises, we go back and forth from lead guitar to comping, which is accompaniment or rhythm guitar. So we'll be going back and forth from lead guitar to rhythm guitar within the span of a 12 bar blues. I've broken this 12 bar example down into three parts. In each part, we'll play a lick, we'll go to the comping, play another lick, and go to the comping. Uh, in this uh, exercise, we'll be using just one scale. We'll be using the E minor pentatonic scale. And if you know the caged system, this is the A pattern. So that would be located around the seventh fret here. So those are my E octaves. And the minor pentatonic pattern looks like this. Actually, we're going to be using the blues scale. So the only difference between the blues scale and the minor pentatonic is the addition of the blue note. So sometimes the term blues scale and minor pentatonic, uh, they get thrown around and used interchangeably. So here is the blues scale, uh, A pattern, seventh fret, my root is E. <laughs> So now that we've looked at the scale for our example, let's go on to part one. Here's part one. So we're starting with a pickup bar and the pickup bar comes before the first complete bar. The pickup measure is uh, incomplete, so it's a partial measure, and we're just leading in to the first uh, the first bar of the musical example here, and we're using chord tones as we do this. I always say that good phrases tend to begin and end on chord tones, so if you think of an E7 chord like this, you can see that we have this note under my pinky, that's the third of the chord, that's G sharp. And this is the fifth of the chord, that's under the bar, that's a B. So I'm bending toward the G sharp uh, from about, I'm doing about a half to a quarter bend here. And, and this note is in my minor pentatonic. And so is this, this is the fifth B, so. And then I'm ending on the root E. And then I go to the comping. So the comping, I'm playing the low open E, and then I use uh, this ninth chord as an approach into E9. So I'm a half step under at the sixth fret, and then I play E9 here at the seventh fret. So in this voicing, we have the root, the, the third, the flatted seven, and the ninth, which is the same note as the second degree of the scale. And we call it a ninth when we place that second uh, within the context of a seventh chord. And then uh, we have a fifth on the top if you want to use that as well. And lick one more time. And then into the next lick. So we're hammering on into an E twice. And then coming down the blue scale. And ending on E. And we 
go back to the comping. Let's put that together. On to part two. The lick for part two starts on the root E with a triplet. Then we continue with eighth notes through the scale. And we pass through the blue note and land on the note A. This is the root of our four chord A7. This announces the arrival of the A7 chord. At that point, we will go into the A comping. The A comping starts with an open A. And then we'll use an abbreviated ninth chord to suggest A9. Um, the voicing consists of a flat 7, 2, and 5. This is enough to suggest the A ninth harmony. We will approach that though from a half step underneath. So the comping will be. And then we'll return back to the seventh fret for the next lick. We continue part two at the seventh fret, starting with the whole step bend. A fingered seventh fret for string, another whole bend, not bent and then a triplet, ending on E. At this point, E is the root of our chord change. We have returned back to the one chord and we'll use the E ninth comping. Let's put that together. Part three. Here's part three. Part three starts with descending triplets. Triple triple. And then we have eighth notes ending on the root B. So we're approaching the B seventh chord here and we're using the blue note to do it. That's our chromatic approach. So we have the two triplets, triple, triple, and then we chromatically approach the B note, which is the root of our B ninth. At this point, we will play B ninth rootless version. Uh, so we have the three, the flat seven, the two, which is the nine, and the five. And we're going to move this voicing down chromatically. So it's B9 here, B flat nine, A9, and then we arrive at the four chord here at A9. So after our descent to the four chord, we return to the seventh fret with a lick that uses an E minor triad in sequence. After the sequence, we continue down the blues scale. So uh, an E minor triad looks like this, root minor third and fifth, and so the sequence goes triplet, and then another triplet, triplet, and then we jump to the blue note for the last triplet, and then we end on the root E. Now we have a single note style turnaround lick that uses triplets and incorporates the blue note. So we're approaching the note B here. We go triplet, triplet, and then we have a hammer on pull off to the blue note and then to our pinky here at the 10th fret. So after that, we jump up to the root E and end the phrase. And we'll move to the fifth fret here to play an abbreviated A seventh chord. So we have the root, flat seven, and the three. And we're just going to use uh, this 
A7 chord to walk up to B7, so we have A, A sharp, B. So we're approaching the V chord uh, from underneath chromatically, and we'll end on an E9 chord. So we saw this voicing before, but here it is again. Now let's put that together. That's it for Blue Solo with Comping in the key of E number 10. I'm Kimberly Allison from Starliner Music, and I hope to see you back on my channel soon.